Here's what you need to know now that you purchased your PLC Tool Sim ALP2 Analog Simulator. We have a lot of example videos to get you through your particular application, but I want to give you some quick tips to help you through some of the stumbling blocks that you may run into. First, we have three modes. We have current two wire, current source, and voltage source. The voltage source is pretty simple, zero to 10 volts. If we select it, then at the bottom, it's gonna tell us that our input is going to be our red post and our comet is going to be the black post. And you're going to see similar terminal assignments for current source and current two wire. Now current source and current two wire can be very confusing. Here's a few tips. First of all, interchangeably in your manual, you may see the words current two wire, current loop, passively powered, or externally powered. They mean the same thing. And same on current source, it would be a four-wire device, actively powered or internally powered. And this can achieve a four-wire device without any other power supply. It actually uses the AA batteries in the back. One rule of thumb, as far as if you're still trying to work that out, is if you already have a power supply in your circuit, you probably want to have this in current two wire. If you don't have a power supply in your circuit, such as I've done here for this application, we're just going straight to the PLC module, you probably need current source. We have a whole video manual that goes through every detail of the analog simulator, but I just want to hit a couple of things. So I'm going to go into current source, simply hit the up arrow, and that changes the value that you're simulating. It goes a little faster the longer you hold it. There's also a one volt resolution mode that'll make it increase and decrease even faster. And while you have it on this screen, you can click the OK button. And that brings up another menu of sweep cycle, step cycle, and custom profile. And I'm just going to go into the sweep cycle and hit the run button. And now it's going to automatically run up and down based on the parameters that you set. And at any point, we can hit the OK button. That'll pause it where it was at. And we can hit the OK button and that'll resume it. And let's say we had to walk away and check something. We can hit the down arrow. We can actually get a graph that's gonna tell us what it was doing. That way we can go check something and we see an issue, walk back over and be like, ah, that must have happened at 12 milliamps. Thank you for purchasing your analog simulator. And I've created this playlist right here with some really helpful tips for getting your analog circuit set up.